All right, trumpet players. So today we're going to tackle line or page 20. This is going to be line 56, 57, and 58. Now, I should have explained how to count this in class. If I have not yet, then you're ahead, which is great. But if you need a reminder, eighth notes actually take up the same amount of time. Two eighth notes equal one quarter note. So you have to divide it in half. So it's the, whatever beat it's on and, for example, if I've got line one, they're in the rhythm pattern section, so it's going to be one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to start with line 56. We are just focusing on making sure that we are, one, releasing the sound with our tongue, two, focusing to make sure that we are keeping each of those eighth notes steady and short, so we are keeping the correct length, and three, keeping the quarter notes long enough, so that way two eighth notes equal that one quarter note. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. my half notes on those E's. I'm sorry, I messed up. I was actually sitting there thinking, you know, it probably would have been good to tell them that you can take this as slow as you need to, as long as you make sure that you keep the length for the quarter notes, the half notes, and the whole notes the right amount of time. For example, I will play that last line slower so that way I know I'm getting the notes and so that way I can fix those E half notes that I messed up on. Okay, this is the second line. One, two, Three. Now, that was a good challenge because we're switching back and forth between notes. They're not all the same. And it needs to move quickly, so you've really got to make sure your fingers are moving as fast as they need to. Okay, well, going on to line 57, you again have a pickup note, so we're starting on beat four. You also have dynamics, you also have staccato markings, and your key signature. Don't forget your key signature, that's very, very important. There's also a repeat sign at the end of this one. There's a whole lot going on. All right, I'm gonna go slow the first time, and then I'll go fast the second time. I will actually stop playing before I start the second time so you know how fast I'm going. All right, here is the first time. One, two. If you need to go back and play that again, go right ahead, rewind it, play it with me nice and slow. But if you listen, those staccato notes sound like eighth notes because they're that short, except you're just adding a little bit of a rest at the end of that. I'll show you in class what I actually want it to look like if it was written out in music without the staccato marking. All right, here is line 57, faster. One, two. <laughs> one square dance you have slurs staccatos eighth notes dynamics and a key signature and time signature to look at make sure that you're checking all of those things also 
I'm looking at the end of it, and there was a word we know from earlier, divisi, which means I'm actually going to take the bottom two notes. I want you to try to play the upper two notes. It's good practice with those Bs. So our B is also going to be flat, which means it's going to be one, and F is normal one. Okay, no pickup note, mezzo forte, so kind of strong, but not too strong. One, two, three. <laughs> Go back and practice that one. That's pretty easy if you take it slow. If you mess up on the slurs, it's okay. But you are focusing on making sure that you are slurring some and tonguing others. That's important. Okay, I will see you back in band. Have a good day.